y'all, it's Niara, and today is my one year nap anniversary video. Yes, one year nap anniversary video. It has been a year since my big chop. I big chop on August 9th, 2014. Yes. I big chop on August 9, 2014, and it is now August 2015. Woo! So I've been natural for a whole year. Um, I did a five month anniversary a while back, so you guys can check that video about about um my early part of the year. I'm gonna go over some of the stuff I said in there just for the new people who don't know and haven't been going along with this journey on me. I'm gonna bring it back for y'all, okay? So, on August 2012, yes, I got my, well, no, even before, a little before August 2012, I started thinking about natural hair and possibly wanting to go natural. So, from birth, I had, um, wore natural hair, Kurt, of course, I had a big bush straight out of the womb, you know, and I had relaxed up to age six. I was really, really, really tender-headed. When I was younger, my mom found it, like, just too hard to comb through my hair or anything, so she decided to put a relaxer. Mm. But I understand why she did it. Um, so I had a relaxer up to, um, from age 6 up to, um, age 15? No. Mm. Age 6 up to a month before I turned 15, so that was August. So August 2013, I got my last relaxer. So I'm two years post, two years post relaxer. I transitioned for a year, going through protective styles, um, going through all of that, making sure, just going through the ins and outs. And transitioning is hard. Like my little sister transitioning now, I inspired her. I inspired her to transition her hair, and she's gone her transition journey and. She's letting me do her big chat up, so I definitely record that for you guys. So she's doing that, and transitioning is so hard. Taking care of two textures is a lot. And now I understand, like, when people... It's definitely... It was just... I should have cut it earlier. Because once I cut it, my curls were a lot healthier. And my hair grew back so fast. I, like, grew back my hair completely to the length it was when I cut it. Um... So yeah, so I transitioned for a year, and then August 2014, I cut my hair. I just had crochet braids out, I cut them out. As soon as I took out the braids, I washed and conditioned my hair, then just went to snipping. And I was natural. So yeah, people really liked it. Um, they said it was for you. They said, Niara, it looks so good on you, that like it fits your face, all that and everything. And yeah, it's been good. Being natural so far has been a lot easier for me it's easier for me to take care of I know cuz like when I had the straight hair like if it got bent a little bit and maybe I didn't wrap it right or something fell off and it was like bent I would keep straightening it and my hair was just thin and it was not good but now I have thick hair full of texture and all that which I love and my regimen's not super it's not it's not crazy like I co-wash once a week and then every other week I shampoo so every every other week I add shampoo just to cleanse the scalp and everything and make sure it, there's no buildup and yeah just put it in a set I'm gonna tell you guys some of my favorite products that I've used throughout my first year being natural so first off my conditioner which is very very important and you are you guys probably know what this is cuz I mentioned a few videos I use Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner. That is the best conditioner I've ever used. Gets my hair moisturized, keeps it soft, very good. Um, my favorite detangler is the Kinky Curly Not Today Detangler slash Leave-In. And then my favorite... Hmm, what else is there? My favorite styling product is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, I was trying to find, decide what my favorite set is. Because I know when I first was natural, I just did um, twist outs. Because after I cut my hair, I just put it in twists and then took it out. So I did twist outs for a lot. And I was like, oh, I like this. And then I went to braid outs, which is very good. And then lately I've been doing perm rod sets. But I think my favorite is hard. I love all of them. Because I just love the versatility of natural hair. 
I love all those styles. Like, um, I've gotten my hair straightened three times, I want to say. I got it straightened for Rosado Head. I got it. For, I got straightened for Rosado Head. Prom. And I think I just got it straightened once to get it straightened. So, three times I've gotten it straightened. Um, I know I do have. The sad thing is, I do have heat damage. I have like straight hairs like I don't know just straight hairs hanging from the ends and I, I haven't gotten a trim but my hairdresser has been telling me to but mm, I don't know cause once you do a big chop every like since I cut so much hair off like I was kinda like oh, I, I don't want to cut anymore but um I am in need of a trim I'm probably gonna do that but I didn't want to cut my hair before um I showed you guys what length I'm at just because I want to you know Show you what it is after a year, and then I'll get a trim. Uh, why? But yeah, um, so I'll do that now. So this is the front. Grab a chunk, just like that. That's a good chunk. All right, and it goes still going. So it goes like the ends are around here. And I remember, like, when I first chopped it, it was, like, to my nose. <laughs> so, like, my hair has, like, doubled, um, the side, like, doubled its length in a year span. Mm-hmm. This is, oh, let me not show. This is, like, down here. Wait, So, it's, like, armpit length right there. So, that's my right side left side it's not all the way there armpit well my armpit starts here so very end but by the time I trimmed it it's not gonna be armpit length anymore being natural has taught me a lot it's like I've learned to love standing out because when I had straight hair like everybody had straight hair like it wasn't different but now with my natural hair people I always stand out I don't always see I don't see a lot of other naturals all the time especially in the community I live in um so yeah I do stand out a lot people notice or recognize me by my hair and all that I get compliments everywhere I go that's that's what kind of lifts my spirit a bit you know everywhere I go people are like I love your hair and they think I've been natural my whole life I'm like no I haven't I share my little a little story I got yeah, I get compliments of where people say they love the texture from all ethnicities, from African American to Caucasian people, everybody. They're like, I love your hair, I love the texture, they love how big it is, and like, sometimes when they see me like, fluff it out, they're like, oh my goodness, they're like, yes, make, I was at the eye, when well, I got these new glasses, shout out to America's Best, um, um, one of the op opticians, one of the opticians there, she was like, I was going like this, she was like, yes, make it bigger. So that always makes me laugh and when people say, oh, I want your hair, give me your hair. Like, I love that because I remember when I was younger, like, I, w I had relaxed hair and my mom took care of my hair. My hair was really long, like, why well, I didn't have boobs back then. But it would have been, like, to my boobs or, like, mid-boob length, but I didn't have boobs, so yeah. But my hair was long and people would be like, I want your hair, yes. Oh, my goodness, your hair is so pretty. And they would always ask me if I'm mixed and I'm like... Not why I am mixed, but not that mixed. I'm black. Yeah. <laughs> I'm black. Um, they would always say, I want your hair. Like, and they would be like, love my long straight hair. So, like, when I was trans uh, transitioning and going natural, like, I was kind of afraid because everyone, when I was younger, loved my long straight hair. My relaxed hair. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to be pretty anymore. Or it's not going to be the same. But hey, I love my hair now. And people love it. So it's good. Like, I didn't really notice the hair growth. Like, I remember waking up one day. I was like, yo, my hair is really big. And um, last week, I put my hair, like, let's see if I can put it up. But I had to, like, I can actually put my hair up now into a little puff ball. And I didn't think it could. Well, for the longest time, um, I didn't have, like, a big rubber band thingy. Um, so I couldn't even put it up if I wanted. But I have a good amount of puff. Like, I have a puff, and it's a good size. And I missed my hat. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You gotta fix this. <laughs> um. 
it makes me really happy. I didn't notice how much my hair had grown until I looked back at like the yearbook we got and I saw my pictures from the beginning of the year and I had like my hair was it was so small and now I'm like wow like all this hair that's all I get people be like all that hair I'm like I know imagine detangling it okay <laughs> like being natural um being natural definitely taught me to embrace my blackness and um definitely made me take pride in who I am definitely knowing that um I didn't want to like confide confide is that the word confide to like the society's um beauty standards but I love like I love this made me love being black okay like I love my hair I learned to love everything about it I love my natural products oh one of my favorite things I did not mention coconut oil when I tell you that is a gift straight from heaven like a shoot heaven shoot down to heaven I mean heaven shoot down to earth it's coconut oil coconut oil is one of the best things for natural hair for skin for hair everything is one of the best things ever you know I do love my hair I get some haters occasionally when um well I haven't really but some people just be like you want are you gonna do your hair today like and it's just like Ugh. and they like I know when people try like to pick on me they like they would say like that's why your hair nappy and I'm like okay I love my nappy hair I chose to be nappy okay they were like that's why your hair nappy you would be like get out of here with them naps I'm like girl I love my naps okay people try to say like uh, when I have like um, curlier styles like maybe a fresh twist out or like a perm rod set where it's like more curly or maybe if I do like wash and go I haven't done a legit one but like put gel in it to hold the curl they be like oh yes you should keep it curly they were like oh thank God's not nappy anymore and I'm like I'm like, my hair, I love my hair. I got curls, kinks, coils, everything. My hair is just crazy. So, like, people, like, they say get out here with the naps or, like, try to use nappy as a bad word. I'm like, nappy is fabulous. Like, what? I'm fine. I can't, you can't run through, you can't run your fingers through because you're not really supposed to. Like, you better not, you better not run your fingers through my hair. Like, I spend time on my hair. Okay. Like, when people use nappy as a bad word, I'm just like... No, I'm wrong. Like, girl, I love my nappy hair. Like, you can't, like, if you call my hair nappy, I'm not going to feel some type of way about it. I love my hair. Another thing is people always touch my hair. Like, it's crazy because, ran like, people come up to me and like, hey, Niar, how you doing? And I'm like, hey, like, eh, skirt, like, I don't, you don't know me like that, okay? Like, don't touch the hair. Um, that's the other thing. Like, if you ask, I'll let you touch it. But people just be walking up to me touching it. I'm like, um, excuse me. I don't know you. Like, I don't know you. Like, like we ain't cool like that. You can't touch my hair like that. And, yeah, people, oh, well, especially when I was first natural, people just go, like, boing, like, just, like, pick, like, take the hair and, like, pull it. And, like, pull it. That's what they do. And they be like, whoa, it's so long, dude. It's so long. And I'm like, yeah. It's shrinkage, or when people try to say I don't have hair. Um, excuse me, I do have hair. I do have hair, sweetie. Don't try, don't try to play me, okay? I do have hair, all right? Don't get it confused. Shrinkage is real, honey. Don't get it confused. You know, I should ask my mom um how much she saved, cause it was my mom. I it's my mother, and then me and my well. I, like, I have a sister, and we were all relaxed at one point, and now, like, since I stopped getting relaxed, she saved money, and I was like, hmm, okay, cool, we don't gotta go to hair salon every one and a half, or however often you have to get relaxed, or I forget, and I don't have to smell that relaxer, that was the worst thing, the smell, and then the cold cream, ooh, no, I don't like that. Oh, another thing I don't like is the hot comb. The hot comb scares me. I can't do it. Like, wait, right when it gets on the nape or right on my edges, I'm like, oh. Like. So, yes, I definitely love being natural. If you're considering it, do it. It is one of the best things ever to natural all day. Like, 
it's whatever. Or if you want to be relaxed, text lax, weaved up, wigged up, all that. Do what makes you happy. Um, you know, I chose, I chose myself to transition and cut my relaxer off. And that's what makes me happy. If you're considering it, I say do it. I think everyone, like, people are going to think I'm crazy when I say that should, like, cut their hair short, real short, at least once in their life. Like, just being able to see your hair grow and the growth, it really teaches you something. You definitely learn a lot, okay? And you get to see yourself, like, you get to see your face. So you get to see face. You get to see your face. You don't get this. It's not all about the hair. You get to see your pretty faces. So if anybody has any natural questions or have any suggestions for natural hair videos, feel free to leave it down below in the comments or hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. All that information will be down in the description box. You know, um, I just, I love being natural. That's all I could say. So if anyone wants to share tips with me, you know, hey, we could learn together, experience together. Any people transitioning who think, who need help, any questions, again, um, comment down below um you know anybody who watches me who's going through a natural hair journey or any hair healthy hair journey anything feel free contact me i want to you know i want to meet other people who are going on the journey because it's really a good thing um as far as like self-growth and anything to going through a journey making making the journey to something making the journey to happiness yes <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here for my one year anniversary. A one year shout out to everybody else who's reached a goal in their life. You know, any anniversary is good. Okay, any anniversary. So thank you guys so much for watching me. There'll definitely be more videos for me. This is what I love to do. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for your support. And see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.